Hi everyone, Linda Israel here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a shaker card using an image from Unicorn Dreams. What I did was I cropped it down to be a smaller size, and I cut a piece of cardstock to be the same size on the back. I've also cut a piece of acetate or transparency film. You could use packaging, whatever you have that would be clear. And then I also cut a larger piece of cardstock. It is the same width, but it's about a half an inch taller than my base. So don't get hung up on measurements. Whatever you start with as your foundation image, just make all your papers pretty close to the same size. If you want to make the card that I'm making today, make the top part about a half an inch longer. So what we're going to do to start off with is I've got some foam tape here. I bought this back, I don't know, I think it was 2018, maybe 2017, at a scrapbook convention in Grapevine, Texas. And so it is double-sided foam tape, and it's rather narrow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down the sides of this image. Now, this is a great way to make a shaker card that you don't want to have to sit and fussy cut the topper on it. You can cheat with the way that I'm doing it today. So what I'm doing is I've got one side and now I'm going to go ahead and go down the other side. And I'm just trimming it even at the top here. And now I'm going to fill in the middle. So I'm just going to butt it up right up against the other piece and go across. And then I'm going to take my scissors and cut it right at the end. There may be a little bit of a gap, but that's okay. And we're going to go ahead and do the same on the top. So now basically I've made a little tray, if you will. So there's a little bit of a space in there. You can kind of see there's a little bit of a depth to that. And the next thing I do is I've got some sequins here. I found a few in my stash that I thought would go. So I've got like butterflies and I've got a couple of dragonflies, some moons and stars. So I thought I would just in oh, some little roses as well. So I'm just going to dump those all in there. That may be more than I need but I want it to have a lot of movement to it. Then I've got these micro beads. These are really old. I got them, I think they were Martha Stewart and they were on sale one day. A little bit of these little beads goes a long ways, but it helps things to move a little bit. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of those, not a whole lot. And then I've got a little bit of some glitter. It was on clearance at Hobby Lobby and I know they still sell glitter. I'm just going to put a little bit of this pink and a little bit of this kind of blue purple. Okay, so now I've got my pieces inside here. I'm going to carefully peel off the other side of the double sided foam tape. You don't want to bounce around because it'll cause your beads and your, your sequins and your glitter to pop out. This is a great way to use up that glitter and give it to, as a gift to someone and not worry that they're going to get glitter all over them. All right, so all those pieces have been removed. Now I'm just going to take my acetate. I want to make sure it's clean. So I'm just going to wipe it off really fast. I'm just kind of using my shirt. All right, so all I'm gonna do now is just lay this on top to seal in the glitter and the sequins and the little beads. Ah, I got a little bubble here. Well, I didn't get it flat, so I'm gonna try to fix it if I can. I may not be able to, because this stuff is sticky. Well, I'm not gonna be able to fix that, so I'm just gonna try to smooth it out as best I can. All right, so I'm smoothing out the edges, making sure it's sealed down, okay? And the items are in there, so you can see that they're moving around. The next thing I'm gonna do is I've got some washi tape here. You want a piece of washi tape that's big enough that it will cover up the white area of your foam tape and go over the edge. So all I'm gonna do is line this up and cover the white area. So I'm not pulling my washi tape, I'm just laying it flat on here. And then I'm gonna cut it even at the bottom. And I'm gonna roll this over to the back side. 
and just smooth that out. And I'm going to repeat this on the other side and all the way around. All right, so now that I've got the washi tape all the way around, I'm going to take another layer of washi tape. This time it's kind of a decorative border. Now, if you don't have a decorative bordered washi tape, you know, if you've got one of those fancy punches, you could use that. Maybe you have some other uh, trims in your home that you could use. So now I'm just going to go in here and lay this across and make a frame all the way around. Okay, so I've gone all the way around with the washi tape. Isn't it really pretty? So now what I want to do is I want to attach this other piece because what I want to be able to do is have this fit over a page. So what I'm going to do is glue right here onto the back side of my card here. I'm just using a Lean's Tacky Glue. You could use double-sided tape, whatever adhesive that you prefer to use when it's paper to paper. All right, so I wanna make sure that this is my top. I'm gonna to lay this on here. And the reason I cut another piece of paper is I didn't really want to have this frame on the back and I thought it would help keep it a little bit sturdier if I had another piece. So this is gonna go like that. So I'm just gonna glue this down on the back side here. And there is our shaker cards. You can kind of shake things around here. It's kind of fun to see all the stuff move around. And what I like about it is I can open up my journal. I've been working on this journal as a custom order. And if I want it to slide over a page, I can just slide it into the journal like that and it'll flip up or you can take it completely out right on the back side, put it back in, maybe give it as a gift even. So I hope you enjoyed seeing a quick way to make a shaker card. Use up some of that glitter and sequins and beads that you have. If you need it to be thicker, just add a little bit more of your foam tape to give it a little more, more space if you have bigger beads or sequins or buttons that you want to add. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Remember that I'm live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time and on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I hope you enjoy the recorded videos that I have here as well. Make sure you, do, you check out the description box below for the digital kit from Calico Collage. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Check out my Facebook group, by Linda Israel and the Friendly Junk Journal people. We have a large group that's over 20,000 members. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.